Oh, it seems like Brianna's not feeling well at all. Since she can't move around and cook, you should go make dinner for her. I lost my patience once my husband, Tim, said that to me. Tim has been always prioritizing his very close friend, Brianna, who he's known since he was a kid. So then, my husband and I began to argue. Excuse me? If Brianna's that important person to you, why don't you go to her place and cook for her? How dare you say that to me? I have been working all day. So what the hell are you talking about? Unlike you, I'm extremely busy. My husband shouted back at me, as he sounded really upset. But I couldn't let Tim win the argument either this time. My name is Heidi, and I am 26 years old, and I am a housewife. I recently got married to Tim, who is three years older than me. My marriage to my husband was going reasonably well, but I had one problem, and that was about my husband's very close friend. My husband's close friend's name is Brianna, and he would often bring her up into our conversations, as they both have been very close ever since they were kids. I was mortified that he would bring up the subject of another woman while we were dating, but my husband would reassure me and tell me that they were like a family. And after Tim and I got married, Brianna would come visit us at our place regularly, and she was very kind to me and said, Oh, I'm sorry that you have to take care of a guy like Tim, jokingly, and I felt that Brianna and Tim were really talking to each other like how a brother and a sister would. So seeing that, I was relieved. But later, when I was told that my husband and Brianna often met together after work on weekdays, I got a little suspicious. No matter how close Tim and Brianna were, it's just really strange for Brianna to try to meet with Tim, who is a married man, all alone at night. I was no longer sure if I could really trust Brianna. In the midst of all this, I got pregnant with Tim's child. But by some coincidence, Brianna somehow also got pregnant with her ex-boyfriend's child at the same time. And what made me sad was that my husband only cared about Brianna more than me. Oh, Brianna's going to be a single mother, huh? I wonder if she'll be okay on her own. If someone doesn't support her, then I feel sorry for her. Well, I'm all alone during the day too. And yet, my husband never shows any signs of worrying about my condition or anything like that at all. Actually, Tim would always blame me for anything, even when I was pregnant. Hey, why are you sleeping all day long? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just having a really bad morning sickness. My god. What's the point of having you as a housewife, Heidi, when you can't even do any of the house chores? What? Hey, you know, I really want to do the house chores too, but I'm in this situation right now. I don't need any hopeless excuses from you. Seriously, if you're going to just talk and do nothing, then just stop talking and start doing something. How could you say that? My husband doesn't seem to care whether or not I'm suffering from the morning sickness, and he only cares whether I do the house chores or not since he doesn't want to do any house chores by himself. But 
when his very close friend Brianna is suffering from the morning sickness, he starts worrying about her as if he were her husband. I heard that morning sickness can be really painful, huh? It looks like Brianna can't eat anything. I heard that Brianna has to lie down all the time. I wonder if I can go over there and help her out at times like this. I'm sure Brianna's all alone and lonely. Well, if Brianna's suffering from morning sickness, she should either be with her parents at her parents' place, or her parents should at least be with her. And when my morning sickness phase got better, Brianna was told by the doctor that she was in danger of miscarriage and was told by the clinic to stay put in bed and just rest. Hearing this, my husband was in a panic. Hey, will you just go check on Brianna? Well, no, I'm pregnant too, so I don't have any time for that. Oh my god, you're so pathetic. Excuse me? Did he just say that I'm pathetic for being pregnant? I really couldn't believe what he was saying. I mean, I married you and I'm your wife, right? And yet, what in the world is this difference in treatment between me and Brianna? And like that, my affectionate feelings I had for my husband were gradually fading. And now, recently, my husband has been coming home late compared to before. Apparently, it seems like Tim goes over to Brianna's to check up on her after work. That alone was enough to irritate me. But then, my husband says something even more unbelievable, which irritated me even more. Oh. It seems like Brianna's not feeling well at all. Since she can't move around and cook, you should go make dinner for her. I lost my patience once my husband Tim said that to me. Tim has been always prioritizing his very close friend Brianna, who he's known since he was a kid. So then, my husband and I began to argue. Excuse me? If Brianna's that important person to you, why don't you go to her place and, and cook for her? How dare you say that to me? I have been working all day, so what the hell are you talking about? Unlike you, I'm extremely busy. My husband shouted back at me as he sounded really upset. But... I couldn't let Tim win the argument this time, either. Oh, but you have the time to go all the way to Brianna's house after work and then come home, right? Then why don't you cook for her while you're at it? But well, if I was Brianna, I wouldn't want to eat what you cooked, though. The only thing you can cook is mac and cheese, right? That heavy, over-flavored, disgusting mac and cheese. Uh, excuse me? Don't you dare make fun of me and my mac and cheese. You're just trampling on my desire to help my good friend. Shame on you. With that, my husband left the house, slamming the door behind him. He must have probably gone to Brianna's place. I thought to myself that we were at our limit now. But before Tim and I were over, I still have something to do. And that is to uncover the actual truth about the relationship between my husband and Brianna. In fact, I had a friend who works as an investigator, and she had helped me. And I planted a listening device, which I borrowed from my friend into my husband's bag. Sure enough, my husband, who had left home, seemed to be visiting Brianna, and I could hear their conversation. Brianna, 
I don't want to be with that lame dork anymore. <laughs> You'll just have to put up with her. At least she's being a housekeeper for you. Yeah, but even so, I love you, Brianna. Not her. Ah, you're so adorable, Tim. But I think I still want to have what we have going on as of now, Tim. But that kid inside you is obviously mine, right? So, if I divorce that woman and marry you, Brianna, there will be no problem. No way! Not until I become a single mother and get some kind of financial support from the government. Besides, if I remarry you right after your divorce, it would be obvious for other people to think that you and I had an affair, right? If people find out that I'm pregnant with your child, you'll be sued for alimony. When everything settles down, we'll definitely be together. Okay, I see. But I just can't wait to be with you, Brianna. My husband's spoony voice was really sickening and made me want to clean out my ears. But now, like this, I definitely have proof of my husband's affair. I also have other photos of my husband and Brianna's secret meetings taken by my friend. Now finally, I was ready to get a divorce. I called my husband to his parents' house, saying that I wanted to talk to them. I thought it was a good time to tell Tim's parents about what I had found out too. What did you want to talk about? Involving my dad and mom like this? My husband talks to me like he was in a really bad mood. But I just ignored him and put the divorce papers on the table. Let's get a divorce. Huh? My husband looked at me with a blank stare. My parents-in-law had the same look on their faces. What do you mean, let's get a divorce all of a sudden? I don't understand what you're trying to do here. My husband apparently intended to stay married to me until Brianna said it was okay for them to get together, just as what she had told him. Tim's parents, who knew nothing about what was happening, were being very sympathetic to my husband. Yes, Heidi, what are you doing suddenly trying to get a divorce with Tim? If you have any problems, you need to discuss them properly before jumping to conclusions. You're right. Well then, for now, could you take a look at this? I showed Tim's parents a photo of my husband and Brianna being flirty with each other and entering Brianna's house. What? You took this photo without asking for our permission? No, I hired an investigator to look into you and Brianna. So you're trying to tell me that Brianna and I are having an affair? Yes, I am. Then my husband suddenly began laughing hysterically. Oh, and I was wondering what you were going to say. You know that I go over to Brianna's house all the time. I told you from the very beginning of our marriage that I don't have that kind of relationship with Brianna, right? And that Brianna's just an important close friend of mine. Tim's parents also apparently believe that their son is seeing Brianna without any romantic feelings. Well, it's true that for you, Heidi, it might be the closeness between Tim and Brianna that can bother you. Maybe it's also because you're pregnant, Heidi, that you're much more sensitive to that kind of thing. Well, was this satisfying enough for you? Anyways, there's nothing going on with Brianna, so just put away those divorce papers. No, I'm not putting them away. 
because there are other evidences. Huh? I played back the audio recording of the conversation between my husband and Brianna. Hearing the conversation between the two of them, who declared by themselves to be also having a physical relationship with each other, both Tim's dad and mom were absolutely mortified. My husband's face gradually turned pale. Then, Tim's parents' attitude completely changed from before, and they began apologizing to me right away. They politely apologized for the trouble their idiot son had caused me. Oh, Tim's dad and mom, please look up. It's not both your fault. It's this man and his lousy friend, Brianna's fault. It's my f fault. I, I was getting seduced by her. How can you use that excuse that you got seduced by Brianna when you married me? Are you really that stupid? I don't need an apology from you. Just pay me alimony and child support. Anyways, just sign these divorce papers quickly. My husband was reluctant to sign the papers, perhaps not wanting to lose me as his housekeeper. But finally, Tim's parents yelled at him, and he gave up and signed the divorce papers. So, like this, my husband and I got divorced smoothly. Tim also paid me alimony and child support. Brianna also paid the alimony, but she was furious, saying that it was Tim's fault that I had found out about their affair. This was because her plan to avoid being found out, to keep it hidden and not lose any money, but rather to get help from the government, had fallen apart. Tim had apparently told Brianna that he would take responsibility and not abandon her, and even going against his own parents. He paid the alimony on behalf of Brianna and then married her afterwards. But just to be sure, he checked and discovered that actually Brianna's child was not his. So, knowing this, Tim immediately divorced Brianna and ended up not acknowledging the fact that he was the actual father to Brianna's baby. And so, Tim became a divorcee once again and was shocked to find that Brianna, whom he loved so much, was also in a relationship with another man. And he apparently began not to trust people that easily anymore and became mentally ill. Since Tim had already been disowned by his own parents and also still had to pay child support to me, he could not quit his job. And so he continued working while going to a therapy clinic and suffering mentally every day. As for Brianna, she says that since her relationship with Tim was completely done for, no one recognizes or helps her with her child and she is forced to live her life in poverty as a single mother. Also, because Brianna was close with Tim as they knew each other since they were kids, Tim's parents exposed everything to Brianna's parents about what had happened. Because of this, Brianna was also disowned by her own parents and she could not go back to her parents' place to ask for any help. I don't feel sorry for Brianna or Tim at all as they deserve what they got with what they did. The only thing I feel sorry for is Brianna's baby. It's a pity that Brianna's kid would be raised by such a lousy mother. Meanwhile, I went back to my parents' house and went through the delivery. And a cute little boy was born. I planned to stay with my parents for a while, and the alimony and child support will cover my living expenses, so I will not go to work right away, but I will spend more time with my son. I had a very bad experience this time because of my lousy ex-husband and his friend, but I will get over the difficulties and raise my son well 
as a strong single mother. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in our next video.